Hey, this is Big Stick, Flight Director at Big Stick Astronautical Group, uh, back with Episode 2 of The Big Bang. When we last left off, I had this uh, moon lander and rover prepared to make a first landing, my first landing, onto the moon. Uh, we're going to see how that goes. Uh, when I launched this from Kerbin, this rocket and engine were meant to just get, get into Kerbin orbit. And then there was a engine here and a couple fuel tanks that were going to take me to the moon and attain orbit. Uh, it turns out that I had enough fuel left in this stage that I just had this take me to the moon. Uh, I kept it a couple just in case there was an emergency. But now that I've gotten to this point, I really just need to make a deorbit burn to get onto the surface. So I'm going to end up just going ahead and decoupling this, uh, do my descent burn or my deorbit burn with uh, this set here, get rid of it, and then make my landing, hopefully, with uh, these radial engines and the tank that I have here. It's going to be a little complicated because I also have to extend these. Uh, legs and they're sitting under the lander. Um, not exactly sure how that's going to function because I haven't tested it yet. So the first thing I'm going to do is look for a keythane deposit on the orbit of the lander. That seems like a good landing spot and I think that's going to be right here is my best option. Uh, you can see I haven't had the probe map out all the, the full extent, every tile of the moon, uh, mainly because it just takes so much time. One of my slight disappointments with the Keythane module is that uh, the detectors only run while you are flying the ship that it's on. Uh, I did leave the game running and, and do enough detection here to, to get this much information. I just didn't do a, a full run. So I think I'm going to try to do this with a maneuver node just to plan it out. I want to do the burn close to the spot because I'd like to come down at a higher angle and have less risk of maybe clipping a, a ridge or mountain. And that looks like it'd be a pretty easy burn. So let's leave that as our plan. I'm going to pop back over here and go ahead and get rid of that stage. Everything's good there. You'll notice that I am using MechJab. I'm going to use the smart ASS to get me retrograde. Just because at this point I want to keep things as simple for myself as possible. And looks like my next staging will be to fire that rocket. I'm going to go ahead and time warp. To get up to the burn. You can see I'm bouncing back and forth here and trying to be extra careful. All right. I can see already that that's deteriorating 
more than I expected. I think I'm going to watch the burn from here so I can control the aiming a little bit. Or better. At this point I'm not really using the the node that much. It's just going to be a general indication of what I need to do. And to that end, I'm going to go ahead and clear it out. Start my burn. I don't sense that anything's happening. Probably haven't. Fired that engine. There we go. So, let's fire until I get about where I want to be. In the middle of that deposit. May burn a little more. That's about what I want. Now, that was the easy part. I don't expect I'm going to have to do much burning now other than the actual landing, so while we're all safe and sound out here, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that stage. And at this point, I think I'd probably be safest going ahead and extending the legs, although, you know, I, all right. as I'm looking at this, I'm not exactly sure where the fuel is contained in this thing. I'm going to go ahead and lower the legs now so I don't have to worry about it. Resources say I got fuel, so we're good for a burn. Go ahead and snap a screenshot there. Now, the fun part. So if it wasn't already fun enough, I'm going to go ahead and time warp a little bit. And our Kerman down here is looking a little concerned. I probably share some of her concern. At some point, I'm expecting to be in some trouble. Let's see how we're looking here. Um. Yeah. We are coming in pretty hot. And I am having to take over manually here. There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Yeah, so that didn't go so well. Well, I think we're going to call that the end of episode two, and perhaps episode three will be the successful landing of the moon uh, rover and recon mod, recon pod. All right, well, I'll see you next time.